Okay, so this is our circuit breaker in our hallway inside of our condo, and it's nothing special at all. Like, it just looks like a typical circuit breaker. But what I'm going to show you is how to make this little space that's um, not used very often, but when it is used, it's important to make it functional. I'm going to show you how to make this space more functional. And so I just wanted to quickly show you the before. So right now, whenever, like, an appliance goes out or the power goes out or something happens, we come to the circuit breaker, we open the door, and we look at the little legend right here and we look at what we need to reset. So if I was gonna reset the microwave, which is right here, I would look at, okay, so it's 11 and then it's A. So then I'd come on this side and I would look for 11A. So here's 11, but where is A? Like most of the time you're in a rush when you do this because you're so mad that like the appliance went out or the power went out and you just wanna like flip the switch and leave. So I don't even see A here. I need to like pay more attention. I need to look more closely. But the point here is that it's kind of confusing. Like it's not really that obvious which switch to flip to make the appliance go back on. So what I'm gonna show you is how to make the space more user-friendly. So again, this is the before. It's confusing, it's not user-friendly and you just don't know which switch to flip. Okay, so I just finished re, um, reorganizing. That sounds kind of weird for a circuit breaker, but I just finished making over the circuit breaker, and are you guys ready to see the after? Ta-da! This is the after. I color-coded it and labeled every single thing. So over here, I erased the messy pencil that was kind of difficult to read what everything was, and then I added these colored dot stickers to kind of color code everything. And then I did the same thing on this side. I didn't label um, each of the switches, but I put the same color dot sticker um, by the, the, the thing that you switch. So for example, if I needed to reset the microwave, microwave, okay, that's a bright blue dot. Then I would just come over here and immediately see the bright blue dot and know to switch this one on and off to reset it. So it's like super easy and super user friendly. Like you just walk in, you look for the color, and then you flip the switch. There's no like confusion, there's no like searching for the right thing. It's right there, very easy, very simple, and because we're always in a rush when we're coming to the circuit breaker, um, it's just gonna keep us from getting frustrated. So again, I just labeled everything and then I um, kind of played a matching game with color-coded dot stickers. And really all I did was take a, um, let me grab and show you guys what I did to create those little small, um, small dots. So all I did was um, I took, I have a roll of dot stickers in every color. I think I have like 15 or 20 colors. They're from Amazon. And I just took a hole puncher. I'm trying to hold the camera and show you guys, so it's kind of awkward. But I just took a hole puncher and I just punched a hole into the dot sticker just like that. Oops, can you see that? Just like that right there. And, um, and then just use that mini dot sticker and then put it on the circuit breaker and then on the little legend on the door. So it was very easy to do. Total time was probably like 30 minutes. The hardest thing was like punching these and then taking the backing off and then sticking it on. So again, very easy, simple to do. And if you like this idea, feel free to use it, um, create a video response and show me what you did or leave a comment letting me know um, how you like the comment, or not how you like the comment, but how you like your new circuit breaker and how it's saving you a lot of time. Um, so if you want more tips, visit me at alejandra.tv and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I'm not in the video this time, but I'm sending you a big bye.